And now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Nothing but green on Threat Tracker tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. That means what we're seeing out there right now will continue all weekend. So the beautiful weather is not going anywhere anytime soon. Storm tracker satellite radar pretty much tells the story. Barely a cloud over most of Idaho. A little thin front up in uh, the panhandle, western Montana. May bring some light, thin clouds over the central mountains, maybe over some of the highlands in western Wyoming. But we'll keep the sunshine going like crazy. Yeah, not just tomorrow, but as we go into the weekend and temperatures will start to rise again. We kind of leveled out a little bit today as, as far as that warming trend, but it kicks back in tomorrow and will take us into the weekend with a lot of us still seeing those highs in the 70s. We're still in the 60s, though. We'll take it a little bit on the warm side for this time of year. There's a 70, 72 right now in Billings and Hard to believe last week they had snow on the ground there. Uh, Butte, Montana at 64. A cooler down the road in West Yellowstone at 55 degrees. Down on the Wasatch Front, Salt Lake City at 61. Cache Valley also at 61. And over in northern Nevada, Elko checking in with a temperature right now of 66 degrees. Clear sky again tonight. Same worn out record. I think it's a record though we don't mind hearing over and over again. With low temperatures actually staying above freezing in Pocatello. 36, still freezing cold though and Battle Falls, Rexburg for the rest of us. Uh, for the Central Mountains, we got a clear sky again tonight. Lows will range from the lower 20s to the lower 30s. Ledor, you're at 30. Chalice, one degree warmer at 31. For the Highlands in Western Wyoming, clear sky again. Maybe a little bit more of that half moon that we've been treated to uh, at night. That'll be kind of fun to see. 23 for a low in Island Park. Yellowstone, 21. The rest of us in the mid to upper 20s. Then tomorrow, Beautiful end of the work week. Why should we stop? Mainly sunny. That implies some thin cirrus type clouds moving in. 56 for high in Island Park. 60 in Afton. 61 in Soda. Yellowstone, 10 degrees cooler with a high of 51. And then lots of sunshine for the Central Mountains. Highs, all areas will be in the 60s. Salmon are right about 63, along with Arco. And tomorrow, more sunshine for the Snake River Plain. We'll be up to 68 in Pocatello, mid 60s at Old Falls, lower 60s in St. Anthony. How about some lower 70s? We got that still on track for Saturday. We'll call it mild for three days. We'll top out at 72 on Sunday. Then things start to change. We're not going to get cold really, but there's a chance of seeing some rain Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So next week, maybe a little wetter than this week for sure. I know fall seven day forecast, high 60s on Sunday, almost 70, still in the upper 60s Monday, but you might want to get that umbrella out, shake off the dust a little bit. You may end up needing that umbrella, not just to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But if you're going to be in the Teton area, you may need it as early as Monday, but we'll stay dry this weekend with highs in the lower to mid 60s for the Central Mountains. Won't need your umbrella at all for the next five days, so that means this weekend is wonderful. There is a chance, though, next Wednesday and Thursday is some rain showers.